so I have my grip tape here. step I'm going to go ahead and peel it off just on one side then I will go ahead and place it here I need to make sure it's equal all the way through here as you can see it gotta be straight all the way to okay then I can kind of go ahead and stick the sides first then I can now go ahead and peel it off all the way while making sure that the needle is sticking perfectly can be perfectly aligned also I have a Pen brush here can be that's the only thing I have that can be helpful here. This can come in very handy. Okay. flat, no bubbles. Now you are going to go ahead and rub the edges so you can leave a sort of print to cut it off. Next, I'm going to use uh, some scissors and, and draw the edges. Now the other side, the same thing. So now we have a clean, grippy, a nice board. And now we are going to go ahead and, and drill the holes. Look how nice and slick. And now for the holes, you just put something pointy on there to make it like, all right. Hardware, I have the riser parts. So this one already has a riser part on, but it's pretty stiff. So I'm going to just add this one up. And, uh, it's gonna make the board pretty high, but I can take them off if it's not what I'm expecting. So I put the hardware first. Okay. So 
so here I got the tracks all mounted. Now I have to set up the bearings. So I've got the bearings here. That's super simple. You take the bearings out. Got two bearings on each wheel. You put it on the truck. Yeah, you put it on the truck. And then you take the wheel and you push it in. Yeah, when you hear it click, that's it. It's all placed, all good. So then you take another bearing, you put it on the truck and you add a spacer like that then you take the other side and you push it all set so you do that for all four wheels now remember that for the first or uh, i mean for the fourth wheel you will have to put the pulley system on. You need to mount the uh, the wheel pulley on it with these six bolts. So make sure you don't lose nothing. So using this plate here. Okay. So this this wheel pulley is actually doing on wheel like that, and you need to match it up with the wheel so uh, the bolts can fit nicely and this plate right here is going on the other side so here is how you need to do it you first need to make sure that uh, the bolt fit perfectly uh, the holes as you can see here the bolt doesn't fit the hole uh, nicely it's pretty tight so you want to go ahead and uh, look for a, a drill bit that uh, has the same size as this bolt and kind of drill through the the holes to make them kind of bigger so uh, the the bolt can fit nicely so i have a drill here so here i got the right size uh, drill bit so I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. You want to make sure you do it on the sides of this um, space here. You want to go uh, next to it as possible. Make sure it's not too loose. Okay, next you want to use some uh, allen keys to uh, bolt these down. So you make sure you put the plate first, right here, and make sure it matches the, the placements. Then you want to bolt this in. Two of them on each spot. Just slightly by hands first. And here. So here you want to make them as straight as possible. You want them to be very flush and nice. Okay. So put them in nicely. Okay, this part is pretty challenging. You need uh, some. Uh, you need to be uh, patient on this. I found it to be pretty hard in some ways. I should probably drill more, but I think it's going through. Now, now as the bolts come out the other side, you want to take the wheel pulley and match it up with the, the other side of the bolts and then screw them in. Like that, let me see. So 
so here make sure you match up two screws on the opposite sides so you have a perfect uh, liner parallel liner between the wheel pulley and the wheel before you screw the other ones in just like that go equal on uh, all the sides just like that and you will see all screws right in now uh, this is something when you are riding there is a lot of vibration and it causes the the screws to come loose so to avoid losing screws when riding use this uh, thread lock and uh, apply on the screws as you as you bolt them in just a little bit on each side oops That was too much, but you get the point. Once you are done, all the bolts should be uh, kind of showing on the other side, but not too much. And uh, as you can see, the wheel pulley and the wheel are perfectly aligned. Okay, and when you turn it on the And the last bearing, put it on here, the spacer here, and then you push it on. If in your case you also have the longer uh, trucks, you will notice a uh, another set of spacers so those are used um, for the wheels so you don't have a lot of space remaining here put some more of these and then the screw skate tool Okay, I got the front wheels set up. Now, moving to the back wheels. Now here, I uh, have to mount the motor mount. As you can see here, these uh, D clamp goes right on the the truck like that and then uh, this one right here goes like that now you want to use these screws here the bolts the right here and uh, put them all around okay You can actually put them first. Yeah, before you put the, this one here. And next you can kind of tighten them just a little bit. And remember here is where you really need some thread lock don't write this without no thread lock i'm just trying to figure out how it's going to be so i have an idea then i will be taking them out and applying some thread lock before now let's apply some thread lock on uh, the bolts
going to first apply some some thread lock on them okay here it is you match it up and tie it in Now you want to go ahead and place the motor like that. Not too tight yet. with two little bolts all right that you put right on the keyway this little spot here you slide it right in there like that okay after struggling with it, I was able to fit the keyway here. I had to grind it a little bit for it to fit. All right. I have the motor pulley mounted now I'm going to uh, proceed to matching it with the pulley system with the wheel pulley and see uh, these nuts Okay, so here I'm going to add this belt right here, and then I will add this spacer. Let me get a knife here. Okay, and now I can go ahead. And, okay, so I forgot to add the screws in here. As usual, don't forget the thread lock. Here, what size is this? Yeah. Why does this stay so hard? Turn it like that. to work on the wiring and all that stuff 
then uh, yeah I will be good to go it's already starting to be dark outside so yep 